All right, welcome to day 26 of Minecraft Survival. I have uh, still been chopping trees, getting a whole bunch of sticks and stuff ready, working on a few other things between episodes as well. Uh, my inventory is set for a few things that we're going to work on today. I think probably the main thing that I, I want to do is probably go out and explore because I was thinking about some of just the very basic things that we maybe haven't done yet basic minecraft stuff that you always should do and uh and obviously with this being daily or as, as close to daily as possible there have only been a couple days here and there that i've missed and by the way the days that i've missed there's just going to be double episodes a couple of days I'm, I'm working on on that to get us caught back up uh but because it's it's daily we've got all the time in the world really so We've been kind of doing at times some little projects, uh, things that, that aren't super important, uh, but then I've just been feeling like there's a couple of things that are very basic that we haven't done yet. And one of those things, I say, all oh, that's a very long-winded way of saying, I feel like we haven't really explored the world around here that much. I've gone off in, in that direction, or really kind of like that direction, sort of diagonal from here, and also this direction to those couple of villages. But we haven't really gone that f that far in either of those directions. Maybe a thousand blocks. Uh, and we also... I was looking at that. That looks like wool. I think that's sand, right? Looks like wool, though. But we have not gone in this direction. And we've barely gone in that direction. So I think we're probably going to go explore some today. Uh, but there are a couple things I want to do first. Sort of leading up to that. For one... Uh, so I've, I've got a decent amount of wood. I want to go get at least like half a chest worth of sticks put into the villager area again for the next time I want to trade it just I figured when I hopped on and I was looking at the trees again I was like it just makes sense to try to consistently as those grow chop at least a few of them each day because then I'm keeping up with having dark oak for this building but then also uh wait this is not the corner that I need but then also keeping up with having sticks for trading so I think that's smart to to kind of always keep like a like I said like a half chest filled with uh with sticks for for trading purposes with the fletcher and i'd also like to clean up a maybe not clean up but get a couple of things here ready uh inside of this villager area ready in terms of these corners and and i want to get probably i'm thinking right now that i'm going to do all four of these being librarians so i probably want to get one more lectern put down and then uh, this was one of the things I wanted to do is I had noticed, I think it was yesterday, I had noticed I was missing a whole station here. Also, I've got a whole bunch of blue wool. So let's, uh, mm, yeah, let's make the beds before I switch this stuff into sticks because then I know I have enough for beds. Uh, and do I have, I do have a crafting table. I should keep one up here though. Let's just, I've literally, I've broken this so many times. I keep putting it back in that same spot because I end up deciding I don't need it there, but I need it there. At least for now. All right, so let me put a few more of these down. So we'll go with one here. And that's kind of some of the stuff I want to work out. I don't know if we'll do it today, but I want to work out, like, do I want to keep crafting tables in the corners? Do I want to go ahead and put down my my furnaces and smokers? Like, do I really want them linking to those right now or not? I'm not totally sure. And also, I don't know if these the chests next to every workstation is going to be overkill. I'm still deciding about that. But let's get beds placed down. So really the way you've been doing this, it goes one, two, three, and then on the fourth. So one, two, three, and then here would be the next station. Uh, and then I need to have more than one bed uh, on my hot bar. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, is this going to line up? Now that I think about it, that's probably not going to line up because then we got one, two, three, four, and then that would be the next. Yeah, so I need to do it differently on this wall, I think. So what if we did, because I'd like it, I mean, I still want it to be even. Uh, what if we did something like, well, you know what we could do? We could just do every other one on this wall, I guess, even though I had kind of decided against that before because in some ways I feel like that makes them them and their workstations too close oh and that is that not even gonna work technically or wait hang on so let me see so that's one over and then this could be maybe there instead and then is this will this end up yeah okay i guess that i guess that can work 
because then we got to bed every other one because I do I want I want this to be like I want this to have a ton of villagers up here ultimately is is the goal uh, and then let's put stuff above them so that they've got their workstations in these let's see maybe these can just have should we just do one above them so they've got just their workstation above or I did not mean to do that or should we do maybe this whole wall because is that going to look weird going every other? Uh, so every other... I mean, that doesn't look weird. Again, I feel like the chests everywhere might be overkill. So maybe we'll only maybe we'll only do chests in the corners. And then the, the ones along the... Like the longer walls can all be just workstations above them. And so this, I think I want to move this over. This guy has still been sitting in the same spot. I don't know, like he hasn't moved in days, I feel like. Okay, so that's good. But then, so maybe we could do something here, like, because I don't like that this isn't pressed right up against the window. I, I don't know why that kind of looks like wasted space. So maybe we could do some sort of decoration, like a flower pot or something there. I feel like flower pot, that, that was the same thing I was saying when we were working on stuff downstairs. Flower pot is always my go-to, even though I never put any downstairs. It's like my go-to, hey, this does, there's empty space here. What if we stick a flower pot? So let's do the same thing on this side, and we'll just also do every other. Because uh, I think I think that'll maximize space while while not having, having, whoa, while not having them all squished up against each other. Because, I mean, I don't think that'll really, dang it, I don't think that'll ruin their functionality with them being squished up against each other. But what it will do is just, it won't look good. And it'll be, everything will be too close together for my liking. I just put this guy's lectern back, because I think one of them was probably linked to that. Yeah, got the sparklies, so someone was linked to it. Alright, let me, dang it, let me move this over as well. And, uh, and I was looking, I, I totally forgot that I had gotten another mending book yesterday. I think I forgot yesterday too, and all of a sudden remembered during the episode. But I say that to say that I soon want to, to figure out what the next tool is that I really, that's going to be really useful to turn into netherite and to put mending on. And I'm, I've been going back and forth between like doing more armor that's netherite and mending or an axe, because I'm chopping a lot of trees, so I feel like an axe might be a better bet. Okay, so that's good all along this wall. This one is good. This is good. So now I need to just put the beds down here. I may have actually made too many beds. I was thinking I wasn't going to make enough beds, but I may have more than I need. Which is fine, because, I mean, who knows? I might end up adding more spaces for, for villagers eventually. Uh, but right now... I feel like we've sort of hit our max capacity here. I think we're pretty much at max. So this is good. This corner is good. Uh, we've got their workstations here and a couple of chests. And I think there's, yeah, there's nothing in those right now. Got the workstations here. So again, I'm going to want another lectern here. I always forget how to make the lectern. Oh yeah, we're also going to try to go back to that archaeological site I found a while ago. And uh, that's why I had the brush up. Oh, yeah, because you need a bookshelf. I need to actually turn my my reeds into paper. Okay, so we'll get that later. Each of these have their spot for a station. Cool. So I think I think that's all I really want to do right now. Let's, uh, so in the different corners. So I guess I'll keep extra workstations over here for the time being. Uh, and then let's do the smokers here, blast furnaces here. And then let me move this stuff. We'll keep all sticks in here. Let me turn a bunch more of this into sticks, I guess, because then we can kind of fill up, hopefully, just the remainder of this chest. Because then again, I'll, I'll just kind of always have a full, a full half chest available with sticks for whenever I need to come up here and and do some trading. It uh, speaking of trading, I think it's always so cute <laughs> that when you're when you're trading or you have a trade that the villagers care about, let me walk up to one of them, they pull out the emerald. I don't know why that looks so cute to me. So funny. You know what? And I might as well, while I'm literally standing here, let's just trade with him since he only costs 32. Just get more emeralds because cause then I've got him, you know? It's always nice to have him. Okay. He's locked out again. Take that experience. What about you? Okay. So he's also 32. So I guess I could 
also trade with him. Uh, and then, so I've got 30 emeralds then. Let me turn these into steaks real fast. Uh, and we're not going to do this forever. I know I've done a bunch of this the past few episodes, but I'm just, I'm, I'm enjoying... Someone had commented on an episode saying that they really enjoyed the trading, and I had never really enjoyed trading and dealing with villager stuff, and I guess it was mostly because I just didn't understand how it worked. Uh, but I agree with that commenter now that I, I too am beginning to enjoy trading-related stuff because I'm understanding how how all that works with with kind of setting up villager workstations and stuff like that. And I guess let's keep... Well, let's do this. So that, that'll be where emeralds go... I'll keep the book in there too, because usually I'm using emeralds and books to trade. And extra beds, maybe we'll keep in here, just in case I ever need to put more down. And then these, do we need any other chests down in here? I feel like we don't, because we've got two in each corner then. So probably no more chests need to be placed down. I'll just put that there for the time being. And I think everything else is good so uh and is this guy he's the mending guy he still hasn't his trade price hasn't gone up yet which is which is good and i've been i was reading a comment about uh, another comment about trading the other day uh or maybe it was just yesterday of just someone telling me more about the way that their prices go down and i think they said it has to has to do with restocking maybe i think is is what the comment mentioned so it's not really so I guess maybe it's it's all about like a supply and demand thing, and that's why their prices go up, which I didn't realize. And I could still be wrong about that, but that's what it seemed like they were saying. Also, so I want to combine these so that we'll have a fortune two efficiency three. Cause this is the this is the hoe that I've been using over at the farm. And uh oh, you know what? I have these three torches. I should go put these back down so that stuff doesn't spawn up here. Uh I didn't I took them from here as well as I took some from this side. I might need to place more up here. I just, that would suck if zombies spawned and killed all of them. Oh, but you know, I almost wonder if it would not be a bad idea to put an iron golem up there. Like, can I put one up in that area? And do I even have pumpkins right now, now that I think about it? I'm not sure that I do. Uh, maybe in my miscellaneous chest. I feel like I'm, I'm talking super fast again today because there's so many things I want to do. But I So I already forgot what I was saying about something. Yeah, I don't have pumpkins, I guess. Okay, well, this is, this is what we're going to do. So this I think what I was talking about was how this is what I've been using on crops over at the farm. And we're going to go over there real fast so I can show you that uh, all of the wheat had grown. We looked at it yesterday. So I pulled all of it down, and I'm, I'm going to replant it, but I pulled all of it down. And I haven't replanted yet because I want to show you using the Fortune 3 or the, the Fortune 2 hoe on all of it. This is how much it ended up getting me. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like a little over seven stacks of wheat. And then. 8, 9, so 9, 18, so like almost 19 stacks of seeds. So having that on there is great. I don't know how much the efficiency affects things since it's already with the golden hoe. It was just breaking things like in one hit. And it doesn't seem like it takes durability. So because of that, what I'm going to do now that I have efficiency and durability on there and I'm consistently using it over here is I think... I'd almost like to have a, like an item frame or something sitting over here, it, like it's enshrined or something. But I think for now, maybe we'll just keep it here. Because I've got that other chest over there with stuff, but it's pretty much full of things for when we continue the farm. Uh, okay, so yeah, I should probably plant all this back down. I'm going to move all this stuff out of my hotbar so that I can just go nuts planting things right now. I probably am not going to need all of these. Let me also run over and sleep. I still want to get like a like a shack or, or I guess more like a tool shed set up over here where I can keep all the or not keep all of it, but where like I can sleep over here and just that way I don't just have a bed out in the open and then where I can keep all that stuff that's in that chest for the purpose of, of like extra supplies and stuff like that. So eventually we're gonna do that, but uh, not today because we've got got other pressing matters to attend to 
and the wheat was the main thing that I was hurting for since I need to be breeding the animals. I probably should have carrots planted soon though because of the fact that I have not been able to breed any of the pigs. So the pigs have just sort of stayed. There's like four of them over there and it's just been four. But I have been breeding the, the sheep and the cows. So uh, we're getting a, a good number of sheep now and I've been shearing them whenever I think about it. Oops. And, uh, and the cows, just yesterday, obviously, I went through and, and killed all the cows. So, there's not, not many over there right now, but I have been breeding them. All right. So, I'm going to get all this place down. Uh, we got a couple other things. I think a couple other things I want to do before we leave uh, to go out exploring, like I said, we're going to do. So, let me replant all this and I will be back. This is what it looks like all placed down. And I feel like farming in this game, not only... <sighs> Not only does it feel satisfying, I feel like it looks more satisfying than it even feels. Just because it's like after you've done all the work and your crops are growing, it just looks good. Maybe it's like all the straight lines or something. I don't know. It just it looks so good <laughs> when it's all planted. And once it's all grown, it looks really good too. Next time it's all grown, I should come up here and look at this from up here. Because that is awesome. So you see how many... Uh, I, I mean, I could literally just count the blocks, I've, but I've never had any reason to count but it looks like it's going to take one two three four five six seven so it's a little over seven stacks i think to place all of this down uh to, and fill all this up so the the next sections that we continue on over here most of them are probably going to be the same size as this so i'll have to count the blocks then to figure that out but for things like pumpkins and stuff like that we may not have as big of an area we might like combine the pumpkin section with the the melon section or something so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep probably all my seeds in here with the hoe uh and then and the, oh i still have more so keep all the seeds in there with the hoe and so here's something interesting i something else i'm probably going to need to read about is exactly what the composting barrels do because i so if i do this that takes let's see when i get it to full Okay, so that's, what would that be, 44, 54, 64, so that'd be 19 of these that it takes, it, like, is it the same every time? So I was, what, at 45 before? So, so about 20, 19 or 20, and you get one bone meal, so, like, is that worth it? Like, I don't know if it has another use that I'm not aware of. Oh, because see, that time... That wasn't even enough, and that was like 25. So that's so interesting. Yeah, I there's there's definitely some stuff about the composting barrels that I don't know, and I'm just going to use, try to get another one out of here. Yeah, see, that's like, that was close to a stack. Or, well, it was like a little under 50. It was probably like 45. So I don't know. That's just, that feels kind of crazy for, for three bone meal. So I'm going to have to learn about that too. It's just yet another thing that I need to learn. Uh, related to this game that I don't know. So what I want to do, part of the reason I did that was just to show you my confusion with that. But then also I needed that bone meal, even though I've got a ton at home. I need that bone meal because I want to quickly plant a pumpkin. And, uh, oh, that's right. Even once you bone meal the stem, it takes time for it to pop out, doesn't it? Because I want a pumpkin. That way I can can make the, the iron golem. I don't, I don't know if that's like gonna help a ton or if it's gonna solve my problem with the possibility of of like a zombie raid happening but i i guess i'm gonna give it a shot anyway and it couldn't hurt putting an iron golem up there i guess so one two three four four and a half how much do i have in here see i don't know why they they insist on standing like in the corner get like there we go okay and then we'll keep i guess the rest in there cool so things are things are going good over here why don't i well you know what I'm actually not going to breed them right now. We've got we've got things to do. I also have been noticing that I don't have... I There's a couple areas around here now that I don't have lit up well. Obviously the farm. We've talked about that. And uh, I feel like there's a couple other spots where I've noticed that things just aren't lit as well as I need them to be. So I have to, I have to make sure I sleep or else stuff spawns. So I need to deal with that soon. And uh, do I still have... Crap, that's right. I put the hoe over there. Uh, I still have, uh, yeah, just sections that aren't, aren't lit well, and I want to sort that out so that there's, like, nowhere that I'm at where I have to worry about it, 
Do I have... Oh, yeah, I've got this diamond hoe in here. See, it'd be cool if you could transfer enchantments. Like, if I could have transferred the efficiency and fortune enchant over to this hoe instead of instead of just combining the, the two gold. Okay, so let me... Is that enough? Is that all the way grown? Hopefully, hopefully it is. We'll do some other stuff while I wait for that to, to grow. Because I'd like to get this Iron Golem just ready to go up there. So that he's protecting the villagers at all times. Also, so I've got this. That's probably what we can do while, while we wait. Uh, is, while we wait for that to grow. Do I not have a, where's my bed? Apparently I picked up my bed and never put it back down. Oh yeah, because it was on this block, wasn't it? It's another thing I need... Oh, I can't... So it's not a thunderstorm, so I can't sleep. Uh, another thing I need is, is like a room to actually keep my bed. Maybe like a bedroom, perhaps? So while while I wait, uh, I'm going to look for a horse. Because since we're going to go exploring, I want to have like a decent horse to to ride. A noble steed to ride off into battle with. Because I think that it's just going to make life a lot easier as I explore. If I can traverse the land more quickly. Uh, let's... I might test out a couple different horses, though. Just to see which one... Oh, that's right. You gotta start with your empty hand. Just to see which one... Ooh, he's got a decent amount of hearts. Oh, and he... That worked really fast. Thank you for being my friend. Uh, cool. And then we've got the diamond horse armor. Awesome. So let's see... Wait, if you take your shield out of your hand. Why is he walking so slow? Oh, this guy, my friend. Why are you... Yeah, that's that's really slow, right? Like there's no way. That's almost like walking pace when I'm on foot. Okay, so I'm going to just ride him to find another one, <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, drowns can come out of the water when it's raining, can't they? I didn't think about that. Yeah, let's let's ride him for a second and find another one. Can I see if my pumpkin's grown? I can't tell. I don't know. It hasn't grown. Cause there there's no way, like, unless there and there's no way either that that he would it's not a different button to make them sprint, right? And I actually, I realized I don't have my bed on me because I just placed it down. So I need to run back to sleep. So yeah, I think that horse is not the move. Because if he's going to go that slow, then... Ooh, I've needed clay. I should come get that clay. Uh, if he's going to move that slow, then it's almost useless to even have him. And what I was saying is I was sitting here thinking, is there another sprint button for horses? But it should literally be the same button that I use to sprint. So... I don't know. So we, we definitely we need to we need to find a decent horse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep real fast. Maybe throw one more piece of bone meal on this pumpkin stem just to make sure that I have it as as far grown as I can right now. And uh, then I'll I'll keep looking for a horse. So I will be back soon. This horse is literally right here. So let's give this one a shot. He's very pretty. Ooh, he doesn't have any hearts though. He seems like he's also a little more feisty than the other guy. Okay, there we go. Uh, so then, let's put this stuff on him and see... Well, I mean, I know that this probably doesn't affect much. I think... Ooh, he's definitely faster. Oh, and you don't actually... Can you technically sprint with them? It seems like whether I hold sprint or not, he's the same speed. Okay, so this guy's... Dev he's a whole lot better than the other one, that's for sure. So I wonder if I wonder if I can find an even better one though, because there's I, I don't know what all the speeds are. He also, like I said, he does not have a lot of health. Is the problem? He's only got what's that? Like eight heart, nine hearts. So that's not that's not super great. We just picked up rotten flesh. Yeah, so that's not super great hearts wise. And like I was saying, having the shield out. I mean, I know it doesn't affect your speed from what I can tell, but. It definitely obstructs your view, and I don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to keep looking around here for a second, because I don't want to leave yet since this pumpkin's not done. Because now that my mind is set on making Iron Golem, I just want to get that done. 
So I'm, I, I don't want to totally leave yet. I want to wait for that pumpkin to grow, but I'm going to walk around for a couple of minutes, maybe try out a couple of different horses and see if I can get one that's even faster than this, even though this feels pretty fast. Uh, cause we just, we need a good, we need a real good steed for this journey. Uh, so again, I will talk to you shortly. The pumpkin has grown and uh, I did try a couple other horses and I found another one that was a, about the same speed as him, maybe a little slower. I don't know. So I ended up deciding not to go with him. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with this guy and as we're out exploring, I can always, I can always switch if I need to. So... Wait, do you have to, you probably have to make these into a jack-o'-lantern, right? To be able to make an iron golem, if I remember right? I don't know. It's been a while since I've made one. But let me, uh, let me, let me set this guy down somewhere so that he doesn't disappear as I'm making the iron golem. Oh, you know what? And I need a, I need a fence post real fast. Uh, and I started putting some, a little bit of cobble down over there. I, eventually, I'd like to have bridges across at least all these immediate rivers right near here but uh for the time being i think just utilizing regular cobble to at least have some bridges partially to make it easier for me to just get across but now that i'm going to be riding a horse more uh, i think that it would be very beneficial to to have that just so it makes it easier something that i had forgotten about too is that you should always be on the lookout for uh their their jumping abilities and wait don't i have yeah, I do have fences uh, for their jumping abilities. And this guy, he can barely jump. So, so that's another thing I'm not super happy about with him. But it'll be fine. Right, Bruce? I think I'm going to name him Bruce. Boom, you stay there, Bruce. Uh, and can the leads... Can they, like, fully break? Because I feel like I should be keeping that extra one on me for our adventure. All right, so let me see. I'm going to take this... And again, the lectern. Oh yeah, it's it's half slabs. I need half slabs. Aflac. Oh yeah, and I never crap. That was another. Re Hang on, I'm I'm forgetting steps here. There's there's steps that this takes. Uh, let me just do two. That way, I'm sure that I have this because I wanted to make this other lectern real fast as we're going up to make the iron golem. Uh, and then I need, I think it's this, this, oh wait, no, and there's, there's so many steps to things in this game. I need leather too, to actually make the books, don't I? Okay, so hang on. That's why I like, I very much enjoy using this window, because it helps me make things much faster. Uh, books, books, or do I need to, why do I always forget? Let me switch to that. I always forget just how to make things in general. I don't know how people just have all this stuff memorized all the time. All right, and then lectern, boom. Okay, so then, like I said, I think I think that needs to be a jack-o'-lantern, not just a regular pumpkin. So I guess we'll see in a second here. I'll at least put the body of, of him down, and then if I need to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern, I will. So that's one, two, three, four. So this will be the fourth one. Uh, and I don't think there's any that can even turn right now because they're they all pretty much have professions. So yeah, four there. Let me try to put this iron golem down because I think it's one, two, three, four, and then it's probably oh that does work. Okay, I thought it had to be a jack o' lantern. Perfect. What's up, bodyguard? How you doing, man? Do we need a second one? I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt having a second one, right? I mean, I know they wander. Is he gonna get? Well, no, he can stand on the beds, so I think he can walk. He can probably just walk through here. Yeah, so I think he can probably wander around. So if something were to happen that zombies spawned, which I don't even know if they could up here, but I think in a zombie raid, they can spawn literally anywhere. So he could, they could potentially spawn up there, uh, which would not be good. I'd be very sad about that. You know, another thing I should do real fast, just to complete that, that last little corner or just one of the other corners is make another fletching table and let me see did this did another one of these spawn because i could throw another iron golem up there if it did it did not take so long for the what's up bruce for the pumpkins and the melons to pop out of there like it it's so easy to bone meal them up to that point but then you gotta wait forever for them to actually pop on out 
cool. So that means this corner is ready. This corner is ready. So we've got two more corners that I want to do. And then we'll need to, to do all the sections in the middle. And so what we can probably do real fast is why don't I put down since I I'm going to need these soon anyway, because I want to be able to like actually cook stuff. Let's put the smokers here because we've got four. So boom, smokers will go there and then we'll do the blast furnaces here. And maybe eventually I'll decide I don't need four and four. I might need less of those and more of other workstations. Uh, and then you know what? Since since we're here right now, though, I might as well grab these. And maybe for now we'll do one of these here, another one of these here. So we could do... Hmm. How do I want to do that? Am I going to want to do like two, two, and then one of something? Like to make it even or I don't know. I guess for the time being, we can figure all this out later. But we'll put that there and then we'll do another stone cutter here, I guess. And then we'll do a grindstone here. Uh, yeah, I think that I think that works for now. Again, I don't think any of them are really going to link to stuff. Link to those things is already linked to things. And I also I need to get them breeding again. Why can I not? There we go. I need to get them breeding again because they haven't really been breeding lately. Uh, okay, so Iron Golem is up there. I think we're pretty much ready to head out on, on this adventure. So, uh, give me two seconds. I'm just going to make sure that I've got everything I want before we leave. And uh, then we will set off on our noble steed, Bruce. Another pumpkin spawn. So, I'm just going to put... I'm going to put another bodyguard up here. I mean, it can't hurt. It might not necessarily be useful, but I, I it shouldn't hurt anything. So might as well just do another one. And, and two two should be good. There's not a, that much space up here, so I guess having these big dudes here, plus the villagers, plus all these beds, gets a little cramped. Which is why I'm still thinking about eventually. I mean, I guess we could do a whole other floor of villagers. That could be a possibility. Or I could extend off this way instead of having this window here. So this could be like on both sides, there could be like a doorway to uh, to more space for villagers. I don't know. We could do something like that. Uh, something else before I leave that I'm probably going to need to do is brew more potions because I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. I, I literally just realized because I don't have any potions right now. And if I go out adventuring without a decent amount of potions, that could end very badly. And in not that long from now, I'm probably gonna have to go get more blaze powder too. Uh, let's do, maybe I'll do like five batches of potions. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go get more blaze powder soon too, because this is not gonna last me all that much longer. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you one more time, get these potions, and then we should be ready to go. Okay, five batches of potions are done. So I've got some in reserves. I'm going to bring... You know what? I should probably actually bring four with me because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. So we've got four instant health twos ready. While I was sitting here, rather than just picking my nose, uh, I decided to start some of this landscaping because obviously like all this is going to have to switch over... All this stone is going to have to switch over to grass eventually. So I did some of this because then I could sit right here and I could listen for when the potions were done and, uh, and not just waste time. So... Uh, and that... I'm, I'm just going to uh, use this cobble while we're gone to possibly make bridges as need be. And me and Bruce, we had a conversation. Okay? We had a conversation, didn't we, Bruce? We decided that his name shouldn't be Bruce. It should be Bernard. It's more classy. So, I give you Bernard the Noble Steed. So, it's just brief misunderstanding. Bernard felt like that wasn't a good name for him. And I agreed. And so, here's what we need to do now is... Because one of the things I want to go do is go over to that archaeological site, I need to make a brush. And I think it's I think it's copper and then a feather. Oh, okay. Copper, feather, and a stick. That's easy. Easy enough. I read a little bit about how these archaeological sites work, but not a ton. So I don't really know the ins and outs. I just know that I need this. And the, really the reason that I know that I need this is because of a comment a while ago. But I don't really know how it works once you're actually there. I don't know if I've already ruined this particular archaeological site. Did I pick that up? I did. I may have already ruined this particular archaeological site. And, uh, and it's also already becoming night. So I should just sleep before leaving. 
So this this site might not even yield anything uh, because of the fact that I've dug into it so much. And I like I took a whole bunch of the uh, what is it the the terracotta I think is what it was. So I took a whole bunch of that already. So I don't know if if I've ruined it and it's now useless. That farm looks so pretty. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, I may have ruined it at this point. So I guess we'll see when we get over there. But I've got the brush. I've got uh, all of my tools. I've got potions and food and a whole bunch of other stuff ready at my beck and call. Bernard's ready to go. So this is going to be great. And obviously, like once we once we go to this archaeological site, I plan on turning around and uh, and going in the opposite direction because really we're only going over here for this site. And then, like I mentioned already, I really wanted to explore in the opposite direction. Bernard, here's the problem, buddy, is you're real big. And so I can't get through here super easy. I also don't exactly remember where the ar archaeological site was. So wasn't it in this? I feel like it was in this forest. I, f I feel like it was not far from home. But I think that it was, it was in the midst of a whole bunch of whole bunch of birch trees so i think it may have i thought it was right in this area but i don't know and once again i could look back at, at the video but i don't want to do that partially because i don't remember what video it was and that still kind of feels like cheating so let me see if i can find this if i can't it's whatever we're i mean we're going out to explore anyway so maybe i'll come across another one uh but yeah let me look around for a couple minutes and i'll be back all right, there's basically birch forest in every direction, and I knew there was a lot of birch forest, but when you're actually looking for something, it, it feels much more extensive. So, Bernard and I had another heart-to-heart, -heart and uh, we decided that if we stumble upon it one day, great, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. So, I'm just going to move on. We're going to go in the direction I wanted to go initially. And, uh, and just kind of forget about that for now, because I think it's just going to it's gonna be too too annoying trying to find where it's at. And again, like I said, I could look back at the video, and I, I, I guess I probably really should do that, because I was saying earlier that I kind of feel like that's cheating a little bit, looking back at my footage to find it. But when I really started thinking about that, I thought, look at all the pumpkins here. I thought about the fact that that's what I've been doing so many episodes when I've been in the nether. Whenever I die, I just look back at the recording to figure out my, my chords. But I think that's because I'm much more motivated to do that in that scenario because of the risk of losing all of my things. So, and this is not as important to me finding this archaeological site. So, I'm just going to say whatever to it for now. And, uh, and we're going to work our way this way. And here's the thing with Bernard. So Bernard can't swim very well, at least when I'm on his back. He can swim fine like this. And I guess that totally makes sense because if Bernard was on my back, not only would I not swim well, I would drown. Uh, so I'm not going to give him a hard time about it, but it does make it where it takes a little bit longer to get across the water. But we already did this once because I had we had to go across here to get over to that other side of the birch forest because I'm, I'm pretty sure back behind me there over there somewhere is where that archaeological site was i after looking around inside of the birch forest right near the house i was pretty certain that it wasn't that close i think it was a ways away so again it's whatever i, I don't really want to spend a lot of time on that right now and like i said who knows since we're about to go adventuring or since we're we're adventuring right now eh, we might uh we might find one on our, our on our adventures sorry bernard i keep putting the lead back on you buddy i just i need to ride you again so off we go on bernard the noble steed in this general direction to find some cool stuff so that's the mountain right there that we can see from the house so that's really kind of what i want to go past what the heck is this is that an armadillo are you an armadillo what happens if i kill you i get some xp Okay, I always feel the need when I first encounter a creature to try that just to see if they drop anything good. Figured he probably wouldn't. Uh, whoa, have I seen this before? This is a big, that's a big cavern right there. 
Uh, but yeah, that's, I didn't know that there were armadillos in this game, so that's yet another huge range, that, that's, or not a huge range, that's another thing that, uh, Bernard is still eating as we walk. So another thing that I need to learn about with this game is, is the animals that are now in it, because I feel like, I feel like there's probably, I, well, I know that there's that, like, sniffer thing, right? And I don't really know how that works. I remember when there was a, a vote to decide which new mob was put into the game, I think. Or maybe it wasn't just mobs. Maybe it was multiple things and, and just Sniffer happened to be one of them. Were the, is this still stuff spawned from when I was here last? Because is this the... I think this might be the temple that I came to that one day. Because we kind of came in this general direction. Oh, yeah, and there's a bow there too. Yeah, this must be... I must have been over here. This must have been where I was grabbing... Uh, what did I specifically come over here for? I know I grabbed cocoa beans. I know I grabbed jungle wood. Oh, yeah, it was mostly for the melons. Yeah, and there's torches here. So, yeah, this is where I was at. All right, come on, Bernard. Uh, but, yeah, I, so I know about the, the sniffer, but I don't know about it. Like, I don't know what it does, really, or, or how you interact with it. I think that it it's called a sniffer because it literally sniffs out treasure or something. But... I don't have a ton of proof of that because, again, I don't know about it. But the armadillos, that's a whole other story. I have no idea what they do. Ooh, Bernard, we need to be careful, buddy. Holy crap, there's a lot of places for you to fall and die. And we just became friends, so I'd rather not lose you already. But, you know, perhaps that's the best time to lose a friend is uh, after you've met them because you haven't grown an attachment. So, Bernard, if you're going to die... I'm going to need you to do it sooner rather than later. Uh, so this... Oh, look, it's a bird! I should get a bird eventually, too. Get one get one to ride on my shoulder like a pirate. And it is annoying that even just two blocks deep is too much when you're on the horse. Makes traversing with them at times maybe more trouble than it's worth. Uh, and I think I do know how to tame the parrot. I think it's just seeds. Maybe I should do that soon. Get a get a parrot to ride around with me. Uh, I also would really like to get pandas too. Wait, where am I in terms of that mountain? Is that in this direction? Because this is basically the direction I wanted to go is over here. What is this biome? Is this all part of the like dark oak forest? Because it's like mountainous. Oh, wait. And that's a... Is that another jungle temple? Let's go check that out. Come on, Bernard. Let's let's do this, pal. Yeah, but I'd love to get uh, pandas soon. I don't know if they have a use other than just being adorable. I mean, even if that's their only use, it'd still be cool to have some pandas around the house just for just for smiles. But I don't really know if there's, if there's something else special about them or, or not. Not totally sure. I know that they look super cute when they're eating bamboo, though, because they, they, like, sit down and they look all plump, plump and fat, eating their bamboo. And it's, you know, it's funny. I feel like I, I what I kind of, what I think would kind of be cool is if pandas in the game, ooh, I want to get that lead, had the functionality of, of, like, climbing trees because, ooh, and there's coal here. I'm always low on coal, so when I pass this, I should probably grab it. Uh, it'd be cool if they could climb trees because of the fact that in real life, I love watching those videos of pandas that they're just like, I, I swear they're endangered because they've endangered themselves. Because when they're in trees, like, there's so many videos of them just falling out of them, and it looks so funny. So it'd be funny if you could be walking through the jungle in this game. And you just have pandas falling from the trees left and right every time you walk by. Could be a little bit sad, though. People people might maybe maybe would possibly actually get upset if the pandas were actually falling from trees. Especially if they had the functionality to die when they fall from trees. So, I'd like if they could fall from trees in the game, but just take no damage. Because it seems like they take zero damage when that happens in real life. So... They could just fall from trees in the game, no damage, and it and just look adorable instead. It's like they it's like they bounce. All their fat allows them to bounce. So is the okay, well yeah, yeah, I guess this is so it transitions from like a jungle 
the heck? Thought that, that was a creeper. Holy crap, it scared me. It must... Is that you? Is that the noise you make? Why does it sound like... It sounds like a, like a match being put out or something. Yeah, it transitions from... Like some dark oak into this jungle. So I was thinking it was all dark oak. Uh, where is the... Let's find the entrance to this place. I'm yawning again. Uh, and luckily I brought lots of blocks. And you know what? While I'm standing here... Let me dump that. I don't need these extra sticks. I don't need that. I feel like I'm probably not going to need three stacks of cobble while I'm out here. But I'm just going to keep all of them just in case. And I did obviously make fences. That way I could... Ooh, and I got over a stack of coal from all that. Hello? Uh, yeah, I did also make those fences so that I could could trap Bernard. It's for his own good. I just don't want him walking away. Okay, so what do we got in here? I don't know how... I don't know all the stuff that you can find in these. Because uh, obviously we, f we found one multiple episodes ago. And I don't even remember what I got. And I don't know what all of the loot possibilities are. I should have kept those sticks because I need torches. And I don't know. Are those arrow sounds coming from something stepping on that? Like, is there a drown in here? Is that... <gasps> Can you go away? Go away. Oh, why did he blow up? I was so far from him. It was weird. Yeah, that, that noise must have been from, from him stepping on the trapdoors, I'm guessing. Or on the, not the trapdoors. Him stepping on the, what are those, the tripwires? The word I'm, it's the word I was looking for. Okay, let me just break everything. I don't want anything killing me while I'm in here. I will take those arrows, even though I don't need them. But I feel like when, when I find them in places like this, I might as well take them. Uh, I don't need that gold. I don't need that. I don't need redstone either, so I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave this. The string, I guess, I'll take. And then this is wild armor trim. Wait, ingredients, ingots, and crystals. So you have to use crystals for... Is that how it works with all armor trims or just these? I don't know. I'm, I'm taking armor trim, not because I necessarily even know how often I'm going to use armor trim, but just because I feel like... I feel like it couldn't hurt to have it. I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to collect that stuff in case I ever decide. Uh, where's this other chest? In case I ever decide to do some cool designs on my armor, who knows? Okay, so gold again. I don't care about bones. Probably is whatever. Uh, I'm just thinking about my inventory. I feel like I am not gonna have the space to keep everything. Let's let's just take the bones for now, I guess. And if I run out of space, that might be one of the first things to go. All right. I don't think that there's anything else special in here. So Bernard, oh, Bernard, I will be there shortly. It is now nighttime, so I need to sleep. So we'll keep continuing in, in this general direction, I guess. We're not exactly in the direction that I wanted to go, because since I went over to that birch forest, uh, it, it put me a little off, like off in the, in the wrong direction slightly. Uh, because like I was saying, I wanted to go basically directly behind that big mountain that uh that's right near the house and we're, we're i mean we're kind of behind it right now but i feel like we're behind it and sort of sort of to the right i guess so that's why i want to move off in this direction a little bit move back towards what technically behind it would be i guess if if i can without having to traverse too much water with bernard and I also, part of the reason that I wanted to go in that direction, near where, ooh, that's kind of a big mountain, behind where that, that mountain was, was because directly across the pond, or the water, oh, hello, oh, you know, I would love, you know what, I'm glad that I got those bones, I think that these wolves are super pretty, will you be my friend, <gasps> he's my friend, where's the other one, hey, will you be my friend too? Thank you. That's so cute. I think that those those wolves I think are adorable. I think like the 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 brown they kind of look like uh almost like jer like super tiny German shepherds, I guess. Uh yeah, but behind behind the mountain over there, there was like a big field across the 
across the pond or the lake or the stream, I guess. I'd, it's any one of those words. So, and I, so I'd like to get into that open field, partially because it's going to be much easier to traverse with Bernard than all of this. Bernard, don't take any fall damage, buddy. I don't know how far Bernard can fall without getting hurt. So that's why I'm being super cautious. Okay, so let's run this way real fast because I'm, I'm still trying to get a bearing of where we're at compared to, just making sure they're still with me, compared to that mountain. I don't know how this all meets up because this is like that sav savanna thing. I think that's what this biome is. So I think we're running back in that direction, but we are, I mean, we're a thousand blocks over here. There's also, there's a snow biome here. There's, oh my goodness, look at all the armadillos. Oh, and there's a baby armadillo too. Look at that. They kind of look weird, the way that they ball themselves up. I don't know, their animation, I guess because, I mean, this is Minecraft, everything's square, so it just looks a bit strange. So, okay, so this must be behind behind that basically because we're at so even though we're at a thousand we're on our z is only a little over 200 so this would be this should be basically straight behind it almost like maybe if we were over there we'd be straight behind it okay so i've got a little better of idea a little better of idea a little better idea of where i'm at right now so let's go into this snow biome real fast see if there's anything special in here this is it's all like even though how do horses do in the snow? Do they struggle? No, I think we're okay. Uh, there's, even though oh, some of the biomes are things that existed before I stopped playing years ago, I don't know what all is in the biomes now. So some of this is, is new to me. I do know that with, I think, snow like this, if it's too deep, you can sink into it. So if I was on foot, I think I would have to be wearing... Oh yeah, that's right. And there's also uh, there's also goats here too. But yeah, I think if I was on foot, I would have to be wearing leather boots because it'd be like snow boots to make sure that I don't I don't fall through and suffocate in the snow. Man, this is pretty right here. Look at all these flowers. Man, and there's part of me that just thinks like. <sighs> Even, even though I obviously I made the decision to, to build at zero zero just for the convenience of it, what I like, this is one of the reasons why I've always walked so far away from spawn is because like, look at how pretty this is. This would be so cool to have a base here. And I think I see, I think I see a ruined portal over there. I want to go check that out. But yeah, like up on top of these mountains where you could look out over this, that would be so cool. Cause I, I think that even though it, <sighs> Like, it's kind of weird, but even though it's super bare, I think that, I think that, that plains biomes like this are my favorite types of biomes in the game. Just because of the fact that, you know, I'm going to leave him here. Just be, I, I think it's because of the fact that you can just see everything so well, and it just, it's very green, and I don't know, I think it just looks pretty. So, that's why a lot of times I end up building in, in sort of a mountainous plains area. Or, or, like, I guess a mountainous area that overlooks plains. I guess mountainous plains sort of defeats the purpose of plains in the first place if it's all mountainous. But kind of the best of both worlds there. You get to be on top of mountains, which looks super pretty. And you get to look out, since you're so high up, you get to look out over the plains, which is always cool. Uh, okay, let's see what you got. Wow, nothing really. I guess I don't care about that flint. The Oh, hello. Should I, when I come across these, should I take the obsidian, like specifically the crying obsidian, or is it not that important? I'm, I'm not really sure. I feel like, I feel like it's another thing where maybe I'll grab it and if I run out of space, maybe this will be the second thing to go after, after the bones or something. And this is what I'm talking about with, with not, uh, like with needing to be careful with my inventory on these trips. Cause I feel like I always, I always end up wanting to take absolutely everything when I'm out exploring just because I'm always like, ah, oh, well, like what if I need it one day or something? 
and then I end up with way too much stuff and then I can't carry everything and then I have I start having to drop things that I want. Man, this is so cool. This would have been a really cool spot to build right here. This would have been really neat. And like I've said, I want to do builds in other places other than just spawn. So like the it, it's it's not like where I've built is just the be all end all. I'd like to build stuff other places, but just Oh yeah, I'm going to take this fence post. But I think just having my main spawn at 0, zero is super convenient. So, I don't know. But it does, as we're exploring, it does make me a little sad thinking about all the cool areas that, that my main home could be at rather than just at 0, zero. Because it, it is a cool spot, but it's just... And like I said early on in the series, I do think it's a really good place, but... Oh, sorry, buddy. But it's just not that pretty. So, I don't know. Okay, wait. So, this then... This is a different village, right? This has got to be a different village than the one I've been to. Because I don't remember a ruined portal being right next to the village like that. So, let's go check this out. I think something that I forgot to mention is... So I do have some particular things that I'm looking for as we're out exploring, I guess. Uh, and we'll probably explore tomorrow, too, since I spent a lot of the beginning of this episode working on other stuff. But some of the things I'm looking for, for one, I'd love to find a Mesa biome, because I'd really like to get stained clay. Uh, ooh, some regular obsidian protection. Hmm... Hmm, I should clear some of this stuff already. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to worry too much about taking string or that or that or that. Uh, so, I want to keep the crying obsidian, regular obsidian. I feel like that's easy enough to get. Silk touch, unbreaking efficiency. I don't think I care about that. That's whatever. I'm finding a ton of gold chest plates. So, I think that's probably whatever. So, we'll leave that too. Um, well... Oh, and you know what? There's more crying obsidian here. Yeah, see, it's just... I don't I don't ever know what to take. Because I'd love to take all these gold blocks. But I feel like I'm just going to run out of space. So maybe this is another thing. I'll grab it. And if I've got to get rid of it, I've got to get rid of it. So... But yeah, so Mesa Biome is one of the things that, that I want to find. Uh, and then... I'd also... I'd really like to do... To, to like conquer a pillager outpost, I think. Uh, and you know, I guess some of this, like these, I could make into blocks as we go, if I need to. Uh, and I think I'm going to leave one, st well, you know, let's leave two stacks of cobble because I haven't really used it yet. And I think that it's going to take up more space than it's worth. Eventually, like I need, I need a shulker box real bad. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to, to conquer a pillager outpost and I'd also, I mean, I think that they're pretty rare. I don't know that I've ever gone through one in survival before. I'm not totally sure, but I would love to find uh, one of the woodland mansions. That would be so, so cool to be able to go through one of those. So that's another goal. I, obviously, we won't find all of that, but those are just kind of the things that I'm thinking through. Uh, I wonder, should I have even brought this boat, considering that for the most part, I'm going to have to bring Bernard across wherever we go. All right, Bernard, let's explore this village, pal. Uh, and I'm gonna, I should probably, I should probably tie him up while I'm exploring. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this village real fast. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Uh, and I also need to sleep, so I'll be back. Okay, the village is done, and I now that I'm on this side of the village, I think this has got to be that mountain that we can see from the house. I'm, I'm guessing it, like it's it's got to be right. So village is done. I didn't really find anything special. I mean, I picked up the hay bales. Uh, I got a couple of emeralds, and I picked up the smooth stone just because it's always annoying uh, crafting all of that or smelting all of it. So sometimes I pick it up when I see it. But that's, that's really about it. I have found more coal as I've been walking, uh, like just right over here. So I've sort of turned it into blocks. That way I don't have to throw it away. There is another village here, though. So I think we're going to go check that one out, too. But I am curious about some of this open stuff that I've skipped over. Like, I wonder if there's anything... Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Keep... 
Wait, that didn't even damage him, right? Because he's only half a heart down now. Or do they regenerate? Is this a... Oh, wait, no. Wait a second. We're off to the side. That's not the mountain. Because this is that village that's off to the side of... Yeah, that's the, the village right near spawn. Okay, so we're kind of now off in the wrong direction. I need to be going more that way. But let me check out this village over here. Because I don't think this is one that I've checked out. Unless it is. <laughs> but I don't know. Because I... No, I think that's one. Why are there so many villages? Is that normal? I feel like that's a lot more than I'm used to. Because at this point, we've explored then. So there's the one right at spawn. There's that other one that I just looked at. That's, that's a little behind that. There's another one sort of adjacent to spawn. There's that other one that I just explored. So that's four right there. This is five. So that's like five all within... All within like a thousand block radius of of spawn. So that's kind of strange. It feels feels like a lot. Oh look, and there's like a ravine. It's like a pretty deep ravine over here. So that's something that we could explore eventually. Wait, what was that that I just saw? There's like a blue. Oh, it's just a it's just a pretty blue flower. That's all it was. It kind of looked like uh, like a parrot or something, and I was thinking that that would be out of place because we're not in a jungle. So let's explore this village, see if there's anything special in here. Uh, I have a feeling there there probably won't be. Wait, can can he jump this? I have a feeling there probably won't be much special in here. Whoops. So I haven't shown you how far he can jump yet. Oh, and I'm also still not going to show you because now I'm going to have to get him to the other side. So the jumping, I I don't know a lot about how how far is is really good or or not how far, but I guess more how high is really good. Uh, but I feel like this is not really good. So ready? That does not feel really good, right? Well, I mean, I guess if I get it right on, that's kind of or yeah, I don't know. It's not great, but what do you have? Nothing. Big fat load of nothing. All right, let me let me tie you up real fast, and I guess go to sleep again. And then we'll check through this village, and then we'll probably ooh double bed, and then we'll probably uh, wrap up for the day. And like I said, tomorrow we'll probably continue exploring, because I mean obviously we've essentially just gone sort of in like a thousand block radius a thousand block and blocks in basically every direction and that's it so there's i'm sure so many more things not even that far away uh to check out and i just haven't seen them because we haven't really ventured away from spawn all that much but i think it's good that we haven't ventured away that much because it's allowed me to sort of get some things done and uh and like really build up really build up my wealth and stuff before beginning to to conquer the world what about you? You have no. They both are just basically selling bookshelves. Cheap guys selling bookshelves for emeralds. Uh, okay. What about in here? I wonder if I should. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say, wonder if I should take like bookshelves and stuff so that I don't have to make books. But that's exactly what I'm talking about in terms of I take too much stuff when I'm out exploring. And then I and then I can't take it all home, and then I'm just dropping important stuff. Because I'm always just like, once I'm home, I've got all the chest space. So I'd, I'd love to have it all, but I only have so much inventory space. So I need a shulker box. Thing is, though, so since I'm on... Since I'm on uh, Bedrock Edition, since I'm playing on PS5, I don't... I'm pretty sure that you can usually hold... A shulker in your offhand. Uh, I don't know exactly what that does. Uh, there's nothing good in there. I don't know exactly what benefit it is of holding it in your offhand. Because I thought that you just usually kept it in your inventory. Uh, oh, but wait. I guess that would make... So if you hold it in your offhand, I guess maybe you can just open it without having to place it down. Maybe is the case. I don't know because I've never used a shulker box before. But... Oh, hi. What are you... Nothing. Uh, but since I'm, since I'm on Bedrock Edition, I can't hold things in my offhand. I'm wondering if I'm going to, to have lower functionality with Shulkers than on Java. 
And I'm assuming that that's going to be the case. Because it's the same with the fact that I can't just hold... Wait, did I check these? Yeah, I checked these. It's the same with the fact that I can't just hold one of my, my tools in the offhand and get mending as I... Uh, and, and like let things mend as I as I do something else, like fish or whatever, because you just can't put that kind of stuff in your offhand in this. So I think that's very annoying. And I was reading about it, and I guess it has something to do with the fact that on like on phones and on and and if you're using a controller, like the functionality doesn't work great for putting stuff in your offhand. I guess. But it's like, I don't know, they could figure it out. And also, I don't play with a controller, even though I'm on console. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, so it wouldn't be an issue. So I just really wish they'd add that functionality to, to be able to actually put stuff in my offhand. That would be amazing. And I think there have been people that have, have been like voting for it or, or like petitioning for it to try to see if they can get... Uh, get it added to the game and I think that it really needs to be added to bedrock version because I would I just like it would be such a, a lifesaver if I could actually put stuff in my offhand other than just like a shield uh, okay so let's let's leave let's head this way we are gonna wrap up very shortly uh, this looks like we might be about to hit a huge ocean so I might have to, and I'm I'm not taking Bernard across the ocean. So we could go that way too, because that looks like that might stay a little bit more open. Uh, but it did look like maybe the land jets off in one of these directions over here. Yeah, I mean it looks like maybe that's promising going over that way. Bernard, we're gonna have to figure out how do we get you. Can we get you across here? Or I didn't even jump. Sorry, Bernard. That's on me. That's totally on me. Except full responsibility for my actions. You know, it is nice though that when you're when you're taking him across the water, uh, crap. Uh, and it's I think it's the same when you're when you're guiding like cows or sheep or whatever with with wheat. It's nice that you can actually like sprint or swim in the water instead of having to to go like super super slow uh, like you used to have to because it used to make it so annoying moving around with with horses or with animals or whatever when you couldn't when you couldn't sprint or, or swim faster in the water because you're just having to wait for them to catch up but i can actually sprint with him on the lead in the water so that's super nice yeah so this okay so this this is not super exciting over here so i'm gonna wrap up for today uh tomorrow before we really get going i'll kind of walk i don't know maybe in this general direction for a while longer and see if i can get to anything cool and uh, we'll probably explore try to explore more tomorrow see what else we can find and, and like i said i'd love to find like a mesa biome and, and i don't know just really anything i just want to find some some cool stuff Jeez, that still didn't he's still only half hour down that's so strange whoa oh uh, no 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 don't get hurt by those stop 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 move move holy crap you just get stuck you get like stun locked on those holy crap and that that poor noise that he makes when he's getting hurt. I do not, I do not like that. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. So thanks so much for checking out today's episode. If you enjoyed it, I would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like, maybe a comment, and there's a shipwreck. That's awesome. So we'll check that out tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it'd be awesome if you'd leave a like, maybe a comment, and also hit subscribe. So thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.